So um, this is the main interface of um, the main screen of Little Sound DJ, and uh, you have these four rows representing um, the four oscillators of um, yeah, the four channels of the Game Boy, and each number uh, represents a pattern. So I can go into the pattern uh, 40. And, um, yeah, pretty much. Like I have a screen where oh, I can it's, have it's notes, uh, uh, musical notes. Yeah, I can go in there and then I, I can navigate through different screens. And I have this uh, pattern 40 here, and I can press start, and then we hear. It in a little <laughs> piece of, uh, of music. That's wonderful. And I can just like it's um, like from top to bottom, like you would need, need read notes from left to right. Great, great. And I can sequence normal notes. This is F in the fourth octave and G in the fourth octave. And I can um, this row is for the instrument. So this is instrument 17, and I can get in here, and here I can set up the ADSR. Like the first one is attack, and the second one is release. Wow. And I also can um, it change the duty cycle. Uh, I can pan it to left and right. I can, um, yeah, like uh, shorten the note and um, pitch it and uh, do stuff like that. And so this is one of the uh, square channels. And I can go into one of the wave channels, like the wave channel, it's where a you wave can, table. yeah, where I have a wave table. Um, and here I have uh, a screen <laughs> where I can. Like here, there's like a square wave, but I also can make a saw if I want to. And, and this is the sequence right here at E D. Yeah, this this is just a screen for the wave. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Perfect. Wave table. Oh, okay, so this is the sequence right here, and it's the steps. Like yeah, this is just the steps of yeah. uh, oh, of the so wave. Cool how it visualizes. Yeah. It looks a lot like uh, one of the modules I used to sequence. Yeah, really. It looks like snake. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it takes a little bit of time to. Like That's draw. fun though, because it's like a game. Yeah. It's a game where you make music, the best type of game. Because I know some about the one on the soup on the Nintendo so this is like entertainment off. system. So, hmm? Is it similar? What? To like is it similar to the to the I guess synth inside of the Nintendo Entertainment System? Like is it similar uh, yeah, to the way yeah, yeah. that it was, it's very similar actually. The um, NES I think it even yeah, it uses a similar um, sound chip, uh -huh. but the NES also has a, a channel dedicated uh, for samples. Right, so right. One bit, I think one bit wave samples. And, and oh, you can actually do that in uh, with LSDJ2 in the channel where you are going to look up a new pattern. Um, oh no, this is used. Uh, um, like in the wave channel, it either can be a wave table synth or um, I can load uh, kits so I have some uh, 8 oh, like like uh, uh, sequence uh, synth Why like, does it um, sound like an 8 bit? Yeah it's like a 4 bit sample so it's quite noisy <laughs> yeah. but That's I can awesome. sequence like a bass drum snare oh, in, wow. in two rows actually um, oh, and I awesome. even can I don't know if I have some oh yeah there are some onboard like hip hop samples Nice. So are these ones you loaded, or it comes with the? Oh, uh, this, yeah. I like that one. Look. <laughs> Ask it now. <laughs> yeah, it says S cities now. <laughs> That's awesome. Not here. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you like? Is this modded so you get a uh, output out of it, or how do you get sound out of this? Uh, it has like the it has a headphone jack. Oh! Even when it launched. Why did I not know that? <laughs> well, it actually came uh, chipped with uh, like very cheap headphones. Oh, wow! The, the cart did. No, the I mean the Game Boy oh, when it released awesome. like in that's 80, awesome. 89. But this is hard to get now. The yeah, it costs like you can get it on every, almost every, uh, like, um, how is it called? Um, yeah, well, like, yeah, on eBay. eBay for 40 bucks, I think. I thought it was like 400. Then what am I looking at? 
maybe uh, like I think uh, this one already has um, like a modded screen, so it's back. It has backlight. No, I don't meant the Game Boy. I meant the not the Game Boy itself. The game, the it, the what's it called? LSDJ. Yeah, LSDJ. Uh, That's um, expensive. Yeah, it can, could be because they are not like um, in production anymore. Uh, yeah, but you still can get the ROM. Uh -huh. uh, for, from the website of the developer, uh, for five dollars, and you can just get this one. is not official uh, CJ card, which it has a um, USB a USB insert. So um, I can just flash every music ROM I want uh, on here, and this costs like 50, uh, 40 or fifty bucks. Oh like wow! 60, 60 okay. Bucks. So you can get started with the Game Boy and uh, the program for under 100 bucks and make music <laughs> and you heard that beginner's kit under 100 yeah, bucks yeah really and you have like four <laughs> channels and you even when you get like uh, an Arduino boy which is like a device uh, so you can put out like, is it based on <laughs> yeah is it good? and you can get uh, MIDI in and out for the Game Boy so you can sequence since from the Game Boy so I can sequence it from my watch I think I found my new sequencer yeah, <laughs> that, that too. dude I have a Game Boy I need to get the uh, and you can get Legend of Zelda in my games yeah, well, you gotta choose. You can't play games while you're no, making no, no, music. No, no, I'm saying like after you've played your set and you're waiting. Yeah. For, while you're waiting <laughs> just make sure you bring extra batteries. You're, you're, you're like waiting for your set and you're like, God, this guy sucks. Well, uh, have Legend of Zelda. A friend of mine used to like. There's some games uh -huh. uh, where you have um, piece like a menu where you can uh, play the sound effects of the game in the, in the menu. And a friend of mine used to make sets like with one or two Game Boys, and then he had the third Game Boy for games uh, for like. <laughs> Launching like uh, weird sound effects oh, from like cool. some video games from Castlevania <laughs> and also that's awesome. That's yeah, I've always been like I recently learned about the like the craziness that goes inside of the Nintendo for making music, like how the music was made. I kind of just assumed that it was like. Oh, do you know the Red Bull documentation? Digging no. in the cults? No. Oh really? You should check it out. It's Red, the best. Like I know about um, Nintendo music. Yeah, they interviewed a lot of the uh, old composers who like programmed oh, really? and made the music for um, yeah, old Nintendo games. I need to check that out. Yeah. So, so I can send you a link later. So. Cool, cool. So tell me this. So is there like, is it an analog wave that's inside, or is it a digital wave, or like uh, what? The Game Boy. Yeah. Like, because I couldn't find that information anywhere. I think it's. Um, uh, analog waves, right? I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe they're all digital. I don't know. But, like, digital or not, it sounds very harsh. Yeah, no, that's so awesome. It has a very nice yeah, character yeah. to it. Oh, that's awesome. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. Nice. That's Vault Kid. Yeah. Yeah, let's go see where the party's at. <laughs>